all brand new characters. If anybody's got one that's Clever, you know, the start and select or whatever, or whatever the new buttons are called, but... Basically, mash the X and Y. So it, it works a little bit better once, uh, uh, once you get to your combos or whatever at like four, level four or five or whatever. But. Don't beat up the peasants, watch out! <laughs> character will only be obnoxious when we're fighting all the bears that look exactly like me, so just so you know. <laughs> it's only one level at least, so. <laughs> it's like extra content. It's like plus five to princess powers. <laughs> Boomerang! <laughs> I'm over here in the corner swinging. I'm I'm watching you play the orange guy. I can't even. <laughs> it's like I know what those guys are all about. <laughs> We'll play Shovel Knight someday later. <laughs> oh, oh, for sure. This is gonna be a really awesome video because your guys' audio is gonna be like completely horrible, and then mine is gonna be really nice. So. <laughs> appears like at the very beginning uh, to like say our names but otherwise we just kind of are all with the legs. <laughs> hey at least you got a different sword now. It's not that hard of a game, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> it's something like that. You'd think after all these years we'd, we'd get better at something at least. Didn't we, uh, I think the four of us, uh, say back in the day, I think back in the day it was like high school for me. Uh, we all played completely through of it, like all four, like four people, I think uh, maybe Moses was on, or it's hard to say, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, 
Reminder, your health potions while somebody else is alive uh, will heal you automatically if you hit zero health. But if you're the last one alive, uh, you have to remember to use them manually or else you die. Yeah, I don't know if that's Uh-oh. <laughs> What's that big red X-Men symbol on the ground, man? Wolverine's coming in from orbit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, depending depending on your level of dedication, um, you could watch a YouTube video. Uh, you know, speaking of which, uh, you should uh, like go through and collect all the the animals, or at least the important ones. That way you can get like the uh, the giraffe for XP boost, or if you want the the tiger for strength boost, whatever you're working on. Uh, that way, uh, that way we can all have. Uh, right, like the giraffe is in the uh, uh, the sand level. You have to dig for him. But say uh, when we're all playing together, say at the moment, if we go to the ark, only one of us can have one animal at a time. But if you actually uh, pick an animal and then join up, um, you'll carry it with you into the game. So we, all, we can all three have whatever animals that we pick, even if we, say, have duplicates. See, because it's not really fair to have, like, one person have the giraffe because your XP boost is, like, almost, like, two times of what it normally is. So you're going to be crazy higher level than everybody else just by playing the same game, basically. So. Which is, it's fun when you're playing by yourself, because it kind of reduces some of the grind, but um, when when you're playing with other people, you might as well use some of the, like, the more useful animals, like defense and uh, agility and stuff like that. That way you're not kind of just getting ahead of people. <laughs> um, it, it's... It, it's really hard to say like for uh, like this guy he just has like the tornado um, which is really good like for if you're battling other people because it kind of stun locks them pretty good um, oh god uh, I like how they all stand up and cheer whenever he hits you um, <laughs> the uh, my recommendation, at least, uh, at least for this version, uh, as they play through the normal mode, is just to max out strength, and then once you max out strength, uh, start working on defense. Because um, I think, um, if, if you remember, I played the green guy uh, back when we were first playing, like, kind of that initial playthrough I was talking about, and I maxed out his magic, which was really cool, and it does a lot of damage, but you can do the same amount of damage with the sword maxed out, but you can do it way more quickly, because obviously you can just like, blah, 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 versus you know, firing one fireball that does the same amount of damage is not quite as good. Um, for like all, even all four of us playing, I was thinking like it might be fun to have somebody do magic so they can do ranged attacks, but even still, um, it's really only worth it when you play by yourself and you can have because, like, you'll go up maybe three or four levels in this first mission, whereas we're going to beat the game only at, like, level 13 or 14, just because there's three of us doing damage instead of just one, so... Uh, so my recommendation, long story short, I would say definitely just max out strength, um, and then defense. But really, um, once you're high enough level to get that black sword with the plus seven defense, uh, and then just grab a defense animal and then you'd be pretty close to maxing out defense either way by the time we're finished. The black sword that that flying knight dude drops. Spoilers. Oh. <laughs> I, I was trying to look up the other day at like when this game actually came out. I couldn't remember. There can only be one, Zach. <laughs> Yeah, shoot fishes. <laughs> it smells like fish in here. 
<laughs> All right, <laughs> can we? Somebody do something. <laughs> Alright. It's like the Matrix, so you're just like ducking around people. Alright. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Collect my prize. <laughs> Kiss my bare lips. <laughs> Kiss my bare ass. Oh wait. <laughs> um, we need to go uh, all the way over to where we collect the weapons to get the first quest item, the compass or whatever. Oh, not that one. We have to fight each other now. <laughs> ah! Oh jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the last dirt. <laughs> So we got to get this thing, and then I don't, we're not really high enough level to get any new weapons. But um, do you remember if you guys collected any of the animals in the past? Like if you're able to grab, oh there you go. So yeah, there, that's the XP booster. Oh, uh, there's Rami. Oh yeah, because I've collected all of them, so... Yeah. I can't get the, uh, um... That one does, uh, that one's boost to magic. Um... Let's see here. <clears throat> Eyeball guy, I think he's from the alien ship. I think he shoots lasers. Yeah, there you go. Oops. I keep bumping into people on my way out. So, and I think, when you walk by the chalkboard at the end, she'll show you, uh, like, walk up to the, the nurse lady. So, like, in strength and agility, and then uh, shoots enemies with his photons. All right. Photons, lasers, whatever. All right. And we gotta probably wait till we're a little bit higher level to see if we can get any of the weapons, so... <laughs> there you go. Dino Gator. <laughs> Man, I figured I'd be pretty easy to keep track of, but I'm just losing myself all over this here. I don't know, I would agree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Extra food for you from the trees and stuff. Somebody's on the tree. Probably because somebody's on a big dinosaur and just stealing all the kills. <laughs> XP Hoover. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's uh, it it disappears in this next room anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a nice guy, and we'll let you make you let you think I'm a nice guy for a moment at least. This is where. <laughs> It's that, whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Robin Hood's fingers, that's clickbait if I ever heard anything. <laughs> sword wrapped in a blanket. I, I can't imagine how that's useful, but... <laughs> I don't want to damage my sword. I've got to protect the resale value. Snar! And mint in box. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, God. He's just doing the laundry. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to wash a, fi a sphincter clo cloak that tight? such a thing as Big Bone. <coughs> Alright, I call the poop deer. <laughs> My what big eyes you have. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeff's got it. <laughs> Huge, uh, kind of prominent brow there. 
almost a little frustrated, but uh, <laughs> also maybe a little primitive. But something like that. I guess the club would speak wonders to that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> And I, I have to imagine, is that, a, is that a bloody paw print on my face? And, and if so, whose blood is it? <laughs> and, and I can't imagine I can hold a club very well with only three fingers, but uh, it seems to be working out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we've got the hang of it. Time to finish the level here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It doesn't look like you move any faster with the little uh, seahorse guy. <laughs> if there's something to hit, you're hitting it, Zach. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> and if you jump on the debris, you can kind of float around at normal speed. Debris. Debris, yeah, yeah, debris such as shark heads yeah, and alligators. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, come back. <laughs> Hello. I know. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> I'm gonna ride on this guy's corpse. <laughs> oh man, I missed it. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> oh, sharks! I don't think we haven't played a game in forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. This gigantic fish monster. No avoiding them. <laughs> I was playing this the other day, uh, trying to test it out. If you shoot the, or if you shoot, if you hit the furball that he coughs up, they'll actually fire the cannon. You just have to make sure he's lined up with the ship. And then you get, like, crit hit kind of damage on him. Oop, if I can actually hit him. <laughs> right, you, he'll, like, when it falls in the water. He wants you. <laughs> there you go. And then basically if we kind of keep him centered. There we go. And then you do extra damage to him. I don't know why getting hit with a cannonball turns your eyes yellow. Some form of jaundice perhaps. A, ja a jaundice cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I made a miss, sorry. <laughs> Check out that guy on his back, because he's like, <laughs> Hey! <laughs> We're on the same team here, man. <laughs>
Assalamualaikum.